Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be doing my May favourites. Um, I didn't get round to doing an April one because I was a bit too busy. So I thought it'd be great for me to do a May one. Um, I've got a few products, some lip products, face products and eye products. Um, yeah, so let's just get straight into it. You all know that I love this BB cream. It's no um, surprise that it's in my favourites. Ever since I've um, had this, since my whole video, I've been wearing it every single day and I haven't actually touched foundation and I've realised a big improvement in my skin not only the appearance but also the texture and um, the colouring um, yeah so I really really rate this product and this is the Dr Jat blemish base um, the black label one and it's just such good coverage it stays all day long and it's even if you have dry skin it goes on really smooth so yeah, big thumbs up for um, my all time favourite um, BB cream. This is a lipstick that I've been loving and I've been wearing it about 5 days a week which is quite a lot and um, I had this in my last tutorial and this is the MAC Fever Glam Lady Gaga number 2 and it's just a really gorgeous nude beige that goes with a lot of skin colours. Normally a nude beige um, washes out my complexion so I tend to go for a peach nude but this type of nude um, is like a beige nude and um, really warms up my skin actually and it enhances my eyes without making me look um, dead if that's the word so yeah big thumbs up for MAC Fever Glam um, Gaga number no. 2 Next is a blusher that I've had for a long time. It's been in my collection for maybe over a year now and it's something that I've totally neglected and just like last week, I think it was, last week, yeah, um, I got it back out and I started using it again and I've, this is all I've been using ever since and this is the NARS blush in Gina. And just like all NARS blush, um, blushes um, the pigmentation is really heavy and really strong so you only need the tiniest amount and I've had this for a whole year and this is like it still looks brand new even though I've used it quite a few times um, yeah so you only need the tiniest amount and this is just the perfect matte peach um, blusher and this is um, Gina I'm just gonna swatch it down as you can see it is quite pigmented it comes out quite heavy so yeah, uh, definitely a light hand is needed, but this is just a perfect peach matte for the summer and I'm absolutely loving this. Next is an eyeshadow palette that I used in my last tutorial as well. When I first bought this, I didn't really rate it, just because all the colours that were in the palette, I already had something similar in my collection. But putting that to the side, I really like how all the colours are together and you get so many colours for the price that it is. And all the colours are just um, great quality. I would say that they're really comparable to MAC and um, the quality. And they just blend really nicely. And I think it's perfect if you're a beginner in makeup. Um, this palette is just absolutely fantastic. Um, worth the price and fabulous um, product. Okay, next is Tulip Glosses. That again I've had in my collection for quite a while but I've totally neglected them and then last week I brought them back out and I've been using these two ever since and I used this one which is the Revlon Coral Reef when um, I don't have much eye makeup on I use this to give myself a little bit of colour to the face and it really warms up the complexion and then this is the Revlon um, Peach Petal and I use this when I have got a lot of eye makeup on because this is just really nude, it's really creamy and um, really milky so it just really pairs down the lips and lets the eyes be the focus which just balances um, things out a little bit so yeah these two lip glosses again I think that Revlon lip glosses are fantastic quality for the drugstore price that you pay and I just absolutely love the packaging it reminds me so much of Chanel and I would say that these lip glosses are like the best looking lip glosses in like the drugstore eye mask which is the Hisamitsu um, eye mask that I've been using probably about three to four times a week now um, because I haven't been having a lot of sleep lately and it just really pre preps up the eyes and uh, revives the eyes and it contains Q10 so it's really good for just 
um, deep puff in the eyes as well. I also like to apply this just before I apply my eye makeup, my eye cream, my eye under eye concealer, my just everything goes on so much better because the skin is really nice and um, fresh and moisturised and these are not too expensive I think you can get a box for about five to six pound and you get five or six sheets in each box so um, yeah it isn't too expensive compared to other eye masks in the Asian market and yeah I'm going to put a link to where you can get all these stuffs because I always get so many questions like of people asking me where can I buy it even though I explain it in the video so I'm going to put from now on I'm going to put all links down the description box down below and um, yeah so that was my last thing um, I've got quite a lot of tutorials coming up actually makeup tutorials and I've got some hair tutorials coming up um, I hope you all had a fantastic May, a lot of bank holidays um, if you live in the UK so that was fantastic. Um, yeah so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed my May favourites and I'll see you soon.